This is kind of an all-time low for me. How are you all? Hope you're all doing good. Um, okay. Ha! So this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, gotta film a video today. Why is that guy staring at me? Jesus, it's so weird out today. Okay, whatever. And as I was sitting there trying to come up with a video idea, I realized, wow, Emma, you are hungry and you are emotional and you are a fucking mess. You need some food. Basically just came up with this fucking idea that isn't even original because other people have done it before, but I just thought I would do it my own way. We're trying vegan fast food today because I don't really ever get fast food because there really are no vegan fast food options that are like actually good as far as I know. But I still thought it could be kind of fun to like go to all the favorite fast food places and just see what they have to offer vegan wise. Also, I thought that this was perfect because it's raining and all of these fast food places are drive through so I don't even have to leave my fucking car. I can just sit in here and make my car smell like fast food and rot basically. <laughs> Our first stop is Jack in the Box, and you might be saying, Emma, what in the world would they have that's vegan? Let me tell you. Number one, actually they have quite a few options, but I'm only gonna get two things from the menu because not everything really looked good to me. The first thing that they have, how do I get in here? Do I go in this way? Jack in the Box, here we come, bitches. The first thing they have is like some sort of teriyaki bowl, and if you ask for it with no chicken, it's vegan. And then also, they're curly fries. So I'm really excited, we're actually here right now. Let me look at this menu. Oh, they also have a side salad, but I'm not gonna f with that. I don't need that. I literally don't know how to order from the drive-thru, so I'm like really scared. Hi, um, can I have a small curly fries? The teriyaki chicken bowl with no chicken? Uh, that's it, thank you. This is so weird. Also, I don't even like Jack in the Box. I've always been kind of a Burger King, McDonald's, you know, kind of bitch. I used to really like Chipotle too, but Chipotle fucks me up, fucks me up, ruins me, destroys my stomach lining, literally like melts my stomach lining and like just d evaporates it until I'm literally just a living piece of like rotten meat. That's so fucking gross. This video is completely vegan. Thank you so much. Oh my god, oh, I'm nervous. Oh my god, my car already smells like shit from this. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Okay, first thing we're gonna be trying is the curly fries. If they fuck this up, then they really fuck everything up. So let's just get right into it. Holy fuck. Are you fucking kidding? This is the best fucking thing I've ever tasted in my life. Oh my god, this is not fucking fair. Are you fucking kidding me? These are the best fucking fries I've ever had in my life. Jack in the box, what the fuck? Literally 10 out of the 10. Okay, now we're gonna try the teriyaki bowl, which is really fucking concerning. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ew. This is what it looks like. It doesn't actually look that bad, but there's dead ass. Literally no teriyaki sauce on it at all. What? So why the fuck is it called a teriyaki bowl? It smells like cow manure. Like, I know it's just vegetables, but it literally smells like a fucking cow. Let's try it anyways. Okay, the rice is good, but it has like an undertone of like sock. But... It's rice, how bad could it fucking be, you know what I mean? It does not smell good to me. I mean, I hate to be dramatic, because I know this is like, the broccoli smells like socks. Aw, poor Emma. But no, it's not appetizing. But I mean, you do what you gotta do. <sighs> yeah, no, that's just not good. I mean, I can imagine if it had a sauce on it, maybe it could be doable, but like, I'd give this a solid two out of 10. <laughs> I mean, it's literally rice and vegetables. It does the job, but it's just so flavorless and there's no sauce on it. It's just so boring and sad. <sighs> kind of grossed out. Like, I kind of feel sick a little bit. And I literally just ate like one broccoli and like some curly fries and that was it. And I feel like I'm gonna vomit. So I think this video is not off to the best start, but let's just keep a positive attitude. Attitude. <laughs> Next, we're going to Taco Bell slash Pizza Hut because they're like connected or whatever. So supposedly Taco Bell, their Crunchwrap Supreme is vegan if you ask for added black beans and then you take away the sour cream, nacho cheese, and beef. Obviously, I'm gonna have a slightly complicated order being like, uh, yeah, can I have like this with like not this and this? They're probably gonna fucking want to kill me, but I don't really care. And then also from Pizza Hut, supposedly now they have a affordable vegan pizza. So that will be really fun if they have it. So I'm really hoping they have it. If they don't have it, then that aspect is canceled and we're just gonna get our Taco Bell. I think everybody should give Arby's. No, it's not fucking Arby's. <laughs> Literally, I don't know what's going on in my head. I think that everybody should give Jack in the Box curly fries a chance because you won't be disappointed. Like, they're genuinely good and it's 
like you're guaranteed a good time. I'm also getting like meat sweats even though I didn't eat meat and also like I shouldn't be sweating. Maybe I'm just anxious. Literally the Taco Bell and McDonald's are right across the street from one another. How fucking perfect is that for this video? Also this Taco Bell's fucking nice. Like they must have just updated it or some shit. I feel kind of hashtag blessed to be in the presence of such a new and modern Taco Bell. It's been raining so much lately and it just makes me want to curl up in a ball and die. <laughs> Rain is depressing. Okay, it's time. It's our big moment. I'm kind of embarrassed to have such a complicated order, but whatever. Give me a moment, I'm right with you, okay? Thank you. Are you guys not a Pizza Hut as well? No, we're not. Okay, Sorry. no problem. Um, Can I have the Crunchwrap Supreme and add black beans? No beef, sour cream, or nacho cheese. And um, can I have a bottled water? I don't sell bottled water. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't sell bottled water, okay? Okay, thank you. So I guess this isn't a fucking Pizza Hut too. My mom told me that this was a Taco Bell and Pizza Hut together. Guess what mom, it's fucking not. And I'm disappointed and I'm sad and I'm mad and I'm angry. I was like really excited about trying the vegan pizza. So what the fuck? <laughs> Literally the closest pizza hut to me is 15 miles away. All right, fuck that. Guess we're gonna have to find something else to replace it because that's fucking canceled. So I'm really mad right now. But at least I get my special Crunchwrap Supreme. Oh, I think it has guacamole in it and I don't really like avocados. Hmm. Whatever. I know everybody's in the comments is probably gonna attack me for not liking avocados, but I don't, so. Like it, ain't sh Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, there's like nowhere to park, so. Where the f do I go? Oh, I'll just park in the McDonald's parking lot. That's so fucked up. I feel like I could go to jail for that, but I'm gonna also. Ooh, this kind of smells good. Okay, f this like smells really good. Whereas my teriyaki bowl, teriyaki bowl, did not smell as good. I'm kind of sad though because it has guacamole in it and I'm really afraid of avocados. But I guess everything happens for a reason. Aw, that's kind of true. Everything does happen for a reason. Aww. Also, I love black beans, so I'm really excited. Oh, I love black beans. I would literally like I love them. I'm just saying. What the that was so scary. Why? Hopefully they didn't mess it up. What if they accidentally put meat in it? And then I like take a bite into it and then I eat the meat? Why am I like afraid of that? Like it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I've been a vegetarian my entire life. So I've like never tried beef in my entire life. Yes, I know it's fucking crazy. Most meats like scare me because I've never tried them before. And I know everybody's probably gonna be like, Emma, make a video of you eating meat. Actually, I bet no one's gonna fucking say that. <laughs> in the McDonald's parking lot, let's try this bad boy. Oh shit, this is hella good. I dead ass don't know what's in it. But it's really good. Sorry, I have shit in my teeth. Oh my god, I never got a water. Whatever. Oh shit, that's kind of a lot. Okay. Hopefully it's not too spicy and I burn my mouth off. Definitely good. It tasted like really like not that gross. It's like, okay, you know when you eat like fast food and afterwards like I feel like literal ass right now, like that was disgusting. That was like relatively fresh and there was like vegetables in there and like black beans and like it was good. I think the whole point with the Crunchwrap Supreme is that it has like a whatever, um, and the, it has like a tortilla or it has like a corn chip in it or some shit and it was really good. So I'd say that was a success for sure. Oh, I never, I forgot to rate it. I would give that a solid 7 out of 10. Let's move on to the next one. For our next stop, we're at McDonald's now. We're already here because we were in the parking lot. And here we're gonna be getting apple pie and a hash brown. For your coffee, do you guys have like almond milk? I'm sorry, which one is that? Can I have a hash brown and an apple pie? Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, okay, sorry. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Here we go, big moment. Running on empty, food review. <laughs> this is running on empty. Food review. Thank you so much. Oh my God, first we're gonna be trying the hash brown. I'm so fucking pumped for this. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Flaky, crispy, very good. But I wish it was thicker. It's still really fucking good though. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I'm so glad I have water now. Very refreshing. Now we're gonna try this fucking apple pie. I could literally <laughs> Looks like this. I just realized I haven't really been showing the food. I've just been kind of eating it, but whatever. Oh my god. Okay, this is like really interesting. The filling on the inside is like perfect apple pie filling. Exactly what you want in apple pie filling. It's hot, but the crust has like a weird smell. The crust kind of gives me like a little bit of cardboard vibes, but overall it's really good. I'd give that probably like a six and a half out of 10. Because it's really good and like the filling is really good, but it's not like, oh my god, this is the best shit I've ever eaten in my life. Like, I literally would die for this. We're coming to a close, we're almost done. I'm really fucking excited because I feel like shit right now. I need to go take a nap and like not wake up for like three days. This kind of food makes me want to like temporarily die. 
our last food that we're gonna be getting today. It's not even really fast food, and I don't really know why I threw it in here, but it just felt right to me. But we're gonna be getting a Starbucks pink drink. Personally, I shouldn't have gotten in this fucking lane. I fucked up. Anyways, I'm pretty excited because I've always wanted to try a pink drink, but I just like never had a reason to do it. And I think that there might be a Starbucks drive through near here. And if that is the case, then I will be in good shape. But if there isn't, I might have to go inside for this one, which is like kind of defeats the whole purpose of like the fast food theme. Pink drink. Pinkity drinkity, as James Charles would call it. Unless it's not vegan. I like didn't even Google it, so it like might not be vegan. I do not want to get out of the car right now. I'm literally, I'm wearing sweatpants. Am I on my period? Yes. Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do people keep hopping, honking at everyone else? Just be nice. You know what? I just remembered the Starbucks is not a drive through so I do have to go in. Probably should have thought that one through a little more, but what did we expect from me? I would pay money for this to be a drive through fucking Starbucks. Sorry, I've said a lot of F-bombs today. I'm trying to cut back on my cussing, but it's not going good. We're at Starbucks. I don't even want to take you guys in there. I'm too lazy, so I'll see you when I get it. It smells like strawberries, which is like really yummy, so let's see how it tastes. That's sad. This is literally what Hello Kitty would taste like if she was like a flavor. It definitely tastes like strawberry. Very, very strawberry E. It's just so sweet. It tastes like juice. I wouldn't get it again. I'd probably give it a five out of 10. I mean, it's okay. And like the flavors are like very like there and it's not like watery or gross. I mean, it's fun, but that's about it for me. Uh, but hey, it was fun. I hope you had fun. I had fun. I need to go home and take a nap. Bye.